watching this free video tutorial from mographplus.com. If you are interested in learning Arnold 5 for Cinema 40 fundamentally, please make sure to check out our ultimate introduction to Arnold 5 for Cinema 40 course, which is a massive 10 hour long course in which we explore all the aspects of Arnold 4 Cinema 40 thoroughly. Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to MographPlus.com. In this video, I just wanted to share with you this shareable scene from MasteringCGI.com.au. I've converted it to Arnold for Cinema 4D so you can test out your Arnold shaders on this. It's a very nice and beautiful shader ball and uh, it's really fun to work with. Now in this scene, as you can see, we have this shader ball geometry. You can simply create your uh, Arnold shaders and assign it to the shader ball. And down here, as you can see, uh, we have a bunch of other shaders and materials applied to this, but you don't need to worry about them. Just uh, create your shader and assign it to this uh, pattern shader ball here, okay? Now, if you go to the scene material layer, we have a bunch of uh, materials that have been assigned to this backdrop geometry and to this uh, shader ball. You can see different parts. You can go ahead and obviously uh, adjust them as you wish, but you don't need to. And we have this lighting layer and here I have this HDR lighting uh, shader or node basically which has been applied to this Arnold sky. So if I open it up you can see we have uh, a few HDRI images. These are my interior HDRIs, these are my exterior HDRIs and we have some uh, studio setup HDRIs. Obviously, I won't be able to provide all of these HDRIs. You can uh, go ahead and replace these HDRIs from your collections, uh, but I will be providing a few of them at least so you can actually uh, get started with the scene. But you can, you know, go ahead and just replace these HDRIs with your own HDRIs and start adjusting this. And these HDRIs have been connected to the inputs of the switch node. So if I just select the switch node, you can see we have eight HDRIs and we have this index which we can control our lighting with this index value here. So if I simply uh, run the IPR again, now this is the index zero, I can just go to my index one, two, and as you can see, different HDRIs will be uh, available and you can see how the shader will hold up in different lighting situation. Now this is our uh, studio HDRIs. And as you can see, a lot of crazy stuff can be done. Perfect. If I just go to my Arnold shaders and add a carpet shader and assign it to this shader ball. Let me just open it up here and load a metallic blue with flakes. I'm just going to see the size of the flakes here. They're way too big. Let me just zero out this. That's much better. Now here is our render and as you can see, it's a bit noisy. Obviously you can go ahead and adjust your sampling values. As you can see, I've used a fairly low sampling values for this scene so you can get quick feedbacks, but you can obviously go ahead and in this case, adjust these specular samples to get rid of this noise that we see here. And as I mentioned, just open up the HDRI setup that we have here. Obviously you need to replace these HDRIs with your own. I've been, as I mentioned, providing a few of them. But right now, you can just adjust this and try different HDRI images and see how the shader will hold up and will look in different lighting situation, which is very, very important when developing shaders. Okay, there you have it. Just download the project files from the link down below in the description and enjoy testing out Arnold shaders on this shader ball. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Thanks for watching this free video tutorial from MoGraphPlus.com. If you are interested in learning Arnold 5 for Cinema 40 fundamentally, please make sure to check out our ultimate introduction to Arnold 5 for Cinema 40 course, which is a massive 10 hour long course in which we explore all the aspects of Arnold 4 Cinema 4D thoroughly.